2020 Frisco League Championship Tournament is brought to you by Post Pawn Shop St. Robert. Give Dan a call for all your pawn shop needs at 573-336-3441. How do you protect yourself and others from coronavirus? Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 plus seconds. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects. Together, we can help slow the... 2021 basketball season this year is brought to you by American Family Insurance Agent, Teresa Stafford of Waynesville, St. Robert, Missouri. Give her office a call at 774-5900 for your next insurance quote, whether it's home, auto, or other coverage. For all your deer processing and other processing needs, check out Tom Slaughterhouse on Highway A in Montreal, Missouri. Give them a call at 573-346-5233. They are open throughout the day for deer processing during deer season. They are a proud supporter of the Richland Bears and Lady Bears basketball. Any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. EXP Realty agent Stephanie Rome is a proud sponsor of the Dixon Bulldogs. Give her a call at 573-528-9935 for all your realty needs. You can also reach her at stephanierome.exprealty.com or visit her at 945 Missouri Avenue in St. Robert by the front gate. The Dixon Athletic Booster Club is a proud sponsor of Dixon Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Be sure to check them out on Facebook at Dixon Athletic Booster Club. So welcome here for our third set of the night of basketball. And, well, I can't say we saved the best for last because that last game might be the best game of the night. So... Have a good Richland team, a good Lakeway team, and two teams that want to move on in this tournament. So we're coming into this once again. Both these teams have one game between both of them due to COVID and early in the season issues. So, and that is a loss to Vienna for Richland. Lakeway has not had a game yet. Lakeway wearing the gray with red outlines, Richland in the white. On the scoreboard, Lakeway is the Hornets. They are the home team. On here, Lakeway is red and Richland is orange. We have a pretty good loud crowd here now, so we should have a good ball game, good atmosphere. And tip goes to the Bears. So Richland, the higher seed on the bracket. Higher seed don't mean too much, though, as the last game we had an upset as Plato defeated Licking in the first round. So things could go either way here. So Richland, a tall team, very athletic. 
Lakeway, an improved team, they can shoot the ball. And that's going to bring up a, I think the bucket is good, though. The bucket should be good. I don't think. Yep, the bucket is good. That's the official, official mark on there. Free throw off target. Back to the Hornets. Steve Schofield, the new coach of Lakeway. Former coach of the Dixon Bulldogs. Down court and... <laughs> Out of bounds off the Bears, so Lakeway with the ball the other way. Lakeway's numbers are a little stubborn to read at times. They're gray with a dark red, so if I don't get the numbers, I do apologize. An open drive. We have a tied-up ball game early. Hopefully you have all your popcorn ready to go, and you are set. That is, I think he slipped on the ground right there, but we're going to have a dunk on the Richland side, and that will continue to move this down court. I keep telling my team that's all they got to do on a fast break, but for some reason the sixth, fifth and sixth graders can't do that. Don't know why. Probably not enough Wheaties, but three-point shot by... I think that's flesh shoot. I will check in a little bit, but that shot was no good. And Furon, or Furon, I don't remember on that one, but he's unable to get the shot. Ball goes the other way. That's the bravest camera person I have seen in a while right there. I try to I prefer to stand right there. College games, you got to sit like that, but these varsity games get a little quick sometimes on the photos, especially when you're sitting right or you're standing right in front of them. You become a wall padding once in a while. And back cut, Richland with the steal. Lakeway was looking for someone back there, but Richland is able to cut in and pick up a shot. And Lakeway with the steal the other way, so both these teams matching blow for blow early. American Family Insurance Agent Teresa Stafford is a proud supporter of the Richland Bears. Also, Tom's Meat Market in Montreal, Missouri. And Richland Auto Supply, Park City Auto Parts, is a proud supporter of the Richland Bears. Be sure to check out all those fine sponsors as they help to support these programs and support the coverage to make things possible. We're going to have a... Carry on the ball, so that will go back the other direction. Both teams starting off a little rough. A few turnovers. That one an unforced error. Hornets looking for something there. Might have had an opportunity for a shot, but they passed it up. With this Schofield offense, you always want to look for that three-point shot, and there it is. Three-point shot is good lead by the Lakeway Hornets. As I mentioned, that Schofield offense, it is a heavily favored three-point offense, and that foul will come on the Hornets as they try to get the ball. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hopefully the video is turning out okay for you. It is pretty decent on my end. It's... Not a lot of loss at all, which surprisingly, probably shouldn't have said that this early in the ball game, but so far we're all looking good. Four minutes, four and a half minutes left. Almost stolen by 
The Hornets, but that's another unforced turnover. Lakeway just enough to get the ball loose. Get some subs coming in, replacing a, just one sub, looks like. So trying to maybe throw a little change of things in there. It's actually seven to four, by the way. I have five. Sometimes on my scoreboard, I don't know, it doesn't always click like it should. And we're going to get two shots off that as the Bears will go for the block. but got a little bit of hand on there, and Lakeway gets some more opportunities. 7-4 to four in favor of the Hornets right now. Say so for our analysis, we have the... Uh, had Iberia coach over here to give us an analysis of what's going on out there later in the game. I, I believe he said he had 35 years of expert coaching experience, I think is what he said. Oh, it's 37. He just 37 years, I think is what he said, of expert coaching experience. <laughs> We're going to try to zoom in a little bit here because that is a little far for some of those people with eyes that don't do very well. So Fearon can't get the shot. He did get the bucket though, so 8-6, to six, it's a two-point ball game. Like way with the drive. So 10-6 to six early in this game. Blocking foul against the Hornets. That's a, another turnover. Both these teams having issues with turnovers early in the ball game. These games will be uploaded once I get home to YouTube throughout the night, so keep an eye out. Probably about midnight they should all be heading up for the upload. Some take, depends on how long they render pretty much. My internet's pretty decent. About an hour, half an hour per game is what it takes to upload them. Render process takes about an hour sometimes. Balls bobbled still. Lakeway comes away with that. Takes it away from Richland. So Lakeway ball is loose. A couple going for that ball and... That foul is going to be against Richland. Lakeway Hornets, they're, give credit to them. They have improved the last several years very strong in this Frisco League. Scheduling-wise, they are a, a tough team to go for. Three-point shot. Three-point shot is good. So, once again, the Hornets extend this lead. And Richland can't get the shot up. This foul may be against the Lakeway defender down there. He was on the back. It's not a shooting foul. It's just a foul on the floor. Richland passed up. Shot. Offensive foul. And that will go the other direction. So this game, opposite of the other games, we are having a lot of fouls in this ball game compared to the last few. Just a different style of play. Just a reminder, anyone coming to the Frisco League tournament games, you do need to wear a mask when you're in the building. I believe when you're sitting at your seat, you are okay. As long as you can social distance from others. 
three-point shot off target. And that may have been out of bounds. Looked like he got hard to tell. It was close. So Richland kicks out. Richland at the three. Three-point shot by the Bears off the assist by Fearon. If you still like to sponsor the tournament, get a hold of me for if you want to advertise during during a team or the whole tournament, just let me know and I will be sure to help make that happen. Lakeway Hornets are partially sponsored by Security Bank of Pulaski County, the three convenient locations in Waynesville and St. Robert. Knocks out of bounds, so 130 in the first quarter. So every bank shot in this tournament is sponsored by Security Bank of Pulaski County. So Lakeway slowing things down a little bit here. That ball comes loose. Richland takes it. Looks like the Lakeway defense backs off a little, but... And that foul is going to be against the Hornets near midcourt, so they will. Second foul on number three of the Lakeway Hornets. So under a minute to go, and once again, I missed my uh, clock overlay up for you. And we have a traveling called on the play. So 46 seconds left in the quarter. So Richland once again gets the ball. We have a redo from a minute ago. And shots up. That will bring up two free throws. It's 39 seconds in this quarter. It's a four point ball game. Lakeway leads. Now we have a one score contest. That ball is out of bounds. It's back to the Hornets. Hornets, good passing in this game. Richland, they are trying to drive the ball while Lakeway is really working on the three-point shot. Lakeway with some good drives also, but they are focusing on open twos and threes is what it looks like. There's another three. That's off target. Rebound Richland the other way. And Richland ball underneath. One on two. Opportunity shot up and shot good. So one point ball game. Clock continues to run. Lakeway is going to need a very short shot. And Lakeway can get it. And going into the break, we have a 15 to 12 ball game in favor of the Hornets. We'll be back after this one minute commercial. Any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. EXP Realty agent Stephanie Rome is a proud sponsor of the Dixon Bulldogs. Give her a call at 573-528-9935 for all your realty needs. 
You can also reach her at stephanierome.exprealty.com or visit her at 945 Missouri Avenue in St. Robert by the front gate. The Dixon Athletic Booster Club is a proud sponsor of Dixon Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Be sure to check them out on Facebook at Dixon Athletic Booster Club. So here's just kind of results from earlier. We had a 60-20 to 20 win, Iberia Rangers. They'll face the Dixon Bulldogs in the next round. The Plato Eagles upset the Licking Wildcats 53-57. They will face the winner of this game. I believe those games are on Thursday this week. We are ready here as our quarter has not changed, but we will work on that for you. And jump ball, so just like that, ball goes the other way. That's stolen. Three-point shot off target. Rebound, Lakewell. Looked like Richland was able to get that. Lakeway had it at one point, rolled out. Fearon with the ball, can't hang on to it. Lakeway goes away the other side. Both these teams really moving too fast here. They just need to slow down and turnover on the Hornets. So we're going to move out our angle just a bit due to the style of play that these teams are starting to switch to a extended type play. So Richland looking for a three, tipped. Richland still has the ball. Bears drive, shot does not count. Foul on the floor. But this will bring up free throws either way. As we are in the bonus already. 6.48 to go. First shot is good, so two-point ball game. Three-point shot off target. We have whistle. This will be against Lakeway once again, so... More shots from the charity stripe coming. And another one and one opportunity. The next foul is going to be double bonus, though. Coverage of the Frisco League tournament is brought to you by Post Pawn Shop. So check out Dan if you need music equipment. Computers, you know, whatever it is, he has it probably in stock. Tools, military uniforms, anything you can think of. Also, if you would like to sponsor, just get a hold of me. I could easily put something together for you and definitely get you in the broadcast. There's no real set limit for what you want to give. Just let me know and get a hold of me here. Settle things up. Richland ties this game up, talking about settling things up. And we can definitely work something out, whatever you, group you run. Just let me know. For all your Richland sports needs there in Richland, check out the Bear Buzz. Great source of information on the Richland Bears. Clayton Gregory does a great job with that. Offensive foul. That's going to be the second offensive foul of this game. 
And I would have ran that if I would have downloaded the video. I may wind up doing that tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that if I get to it here. And we have a floor issue here. Along with the girl standing in front of the camera. If you know her, send her a text to sit down. I think we are ready to... Okay, well, maybe not ready to go. And we are going back the other way. Back cut for Lakeway, a lot of traffic. Richland comes away with it, good steal for the Bears. And hard foul. Kind of went up for the ball. Looks like he is all right down there. So that's going to be another double bonus, though. So we have two more free throws coming. 5-19 still in the first half. Low scoring ball game, though. 32 points combined, and I am proud of myself for knowing that that quick. Free throw is good. One point ball game. So you could be enjoying this instead of watching the mask, whatever that show is on popular nowadays. It is a good show sometimes to watch, as I said earlier. I still prefer Scrubs. I like watching those episodes. Very good series. Now we still have one foul to give for Richland, though. So five minutes in the first half. That will be a travel and turnover. So Lakeway, another opportunity. I've got some halftime choices here. I have an interview with Steven Rizzler. I have highlights from Saturday. Um, I've got lots of commercials. Just kind of leave a message what you want to see at halftime for this interactive broadcast. We have a, another whistle, so another turnover. I believe I have an interview with the Glendale girls coach, but that is too long, I think. It's like 12 minutes or something. So your options are highlights from Saturday or a interview with Coach Steve Rizzler. I will. And we have... Well, that was their foul to give. Sub coming in, 23, his second foul. Both these teams matched up well. Both these teams playing very well on defense. Dixon extending their defense, trying to slow down this outside shooting. Looks like a 2-3 zone is what they're deciding to sit in or was sitting in. Offensive rebound. Richland takes the shot off target. Rebound Bears. So Lakeways, you know, playing well out here. They're coming out strong. Three-point shot by the Bears, though. That's off target. Another offensive rebound, this time for the Bears. Good pass underneath. And blocking foul, not quite set on the play, so two more free throws coming. I do not have any suggestions yet on the chat for 
a halftime entertainment. The other option is to watch a scoreboard kick down. First one's no good. Richland, a one point lead now after that free throw. And that is blocks. That will retain Lakeway ball. Richland is also in the bonus now if they get if they give a foul. Or Lakeway is in the bonus if they give a foul. Either way, we're shooting free throws no matter what happens at this point. Ball is tip stolen. Fearon runs down court. Last touched by the Bears, so another turnover. Both these teams forcing turnovers against each other pretty well in this contest. Something here is you can't take the other one for granted. They can score pretty quick, and they are able to, you know, do whatever it takes to do whatever they need. So change of possession on that, or change of score. Lakeway picks up the lead. So far tonight, we're split down the middle, one and one on teams who lead at halftime. So, not a good indication there. 2.51 in the first half. And three off target, offensive rebound, can't get that. And all right, that will be a turnover there. A lot of contact on both teams right there, but ball will result in a turnover as it went out of bounds. Officials letting these teams play. Lakeway going the other way here. Lakeway, three-point shot up. Not there. Rebound, Fearon. Two minutes to go in the first half. Drive by Richland. Kicks it across. Open three. Rebound, Lakeway again. Really low-scoring contest. Deep three for the Hornets. Can't get it. Ball is still bounced around, but Richland comes away with it. Be sure to check out the Scoreboard Guys show every Saturday on ESPN Radio, The Jock out of Springfield, Missouri. And also as part of that is the Players Only podcast by the Kansas City Chiefs, Dane and Hughes. That is on, I think it's 97.9 out of, 90, it's 99.9 now out of Springfield, I think. Or you can listen online to that show. I edit that show okay, or every week. It is very fun. Good stuff from the Chiefs on that, or former Chiefs. So I'm going to try to hit this one minute clock just right. I'm going to cheat and do 112.
Hornets looking for another three-pointer. Still one-point game in favor of Richland. Richland finds the open three, can't get it. A little too much spin off the glass. Ball the other way, shot goes in. It's a three-point lead for Richland. Lakeway in the gray, Richland in the white. We have a jump ball. Steal by the Bears, 20 seconds left in the half. Richland maybe doing a one shot deal, three point shot up. That is off target, but we will go into halftime here with a 21 to 8, 20 to 8 lead. I'm sorry. I thought it was the three, but 20 to 8 lead, two point lead in favor of the Bears, and we will be back in 10 minutes. Any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. The 2020 Frisco League Championship Tournament is brought to you by Post Pawn Shop of St. Robert. Give Dan a call for all your pawn shop needs at 573-336-3441. How do you protect yourself and others from coronavirus? Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 plus seconds. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects. Together, we can help slow the spread. And clock will run out. And with that, the Lady Tigers will pick up a victory over the, or the Lady Hornets will pick up a victory over the Lady Tigers. Thank you for watching. The score of any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. EXP Realty Agent Stephanie Rome is a proud sponsor of the Dixon Bulldogs. Give her a call at 573-528-9935 for all your realty needs. You can also reach her at stephanierome.exprealty.com or visit her at 945 Missouri Avenue in St. Robert by the front gate. The Dixon Athletic Booster Club is a proud sponsor of Dixon Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Be sure to check them out on Facebook at Dixon Athletic Booster Club.
now we are going to run down this clock. And we're going to end that with a steal. The Crocker Lady Lions will pick up the victory here as the final score in this game is 50-28 in favor of Crocker. 2020-2021 basketball season this year is brought to you by American Family Insurance Agent Teresa Stafford of Waynesville, St. Robert, Missouri. Give her office a call at 774-5900 for your next insurance quote, whether it's home, auto, or other coverage. For all your deer processing and other processing needs, check out Tom Slaughterhouse on Highway A in Montreal, Missouri. Give them a call at 573-346-5233. They are open throughout the day for deer processing during deer season. They are a proud supporter of the Richland Bears and Lady Bears basketball programs. Iberia, the defending champion. So last few seconds. And ending the first half, we have 38-25 in favor of the Crocker Lions. Stoutland underneath, shot up, and Stoutland connects. Shot no good. That will sell out of bounds. Six seconds left in the game, and that will do it here. The Crocker Lions will earn the right to face the Iberia Rangers on Tuesday. Role models are more important than ever in today's society. You can serve as a role model for others the next time you display good sportsmanship at a high school athletic event. Good sports are winners and are also vital to preserving our fine sports traditions. So the next time you attend a sporting event, remember to be a good sport and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. Visit Security Bank of Pulaski County at their three convenient locations in Waynesville and two in St. Robert. Security Bank is a proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. They are also supporters of the Waynesville Tigers, among other area basketball teams. Give them a call at 573-451-2265 for all your banking needs. Security Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing opportunity lender. Sometimes we can do things that exclude others. Still talking to your friends? It's complicated. I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. Welcome to Jumanji! Even the smallest words and actions can have a big effect on someone. You have the skills. Because of you, someone's entire day, their year, or their life can change. Remember, the future is in your hands. Visit becauseofyou.org to learn more. Totally! Let's do it! Check out Allen Hilliard Sports for all the tournament updates and live video. Park City Auto Parts is a proud sponsor of the Richland Bears and Crocker Lions. Check them out in Richland for all your parts needs. Looks like the sun is down already at 5.30. It's about normal. Three-point shot by the Wolves. And three-point shot is good, so 30 and 8 o'clock for those games. And Dixon, I believe that was a three. That was a three. And makes it, you know, a lot of times cuts around out for the playoffs. Another D3, so Dixon is back in this ball game. Dixon underneath, back cut, shot up, shot in, and Dixon will connect on that. So probably the last play for this quarter if Newberg plays it right, or they could score right away. Looks like Newberg decides to score, and Newberg will take a lead. Both teams have to keep scoring, though. A one-point game. Neither team can settle down at this point. Good rotation, and the Wolves take a three-point lead to making things like this happen. Deep three for the Wolves, and wow. Clock continues to run down, and one second on the clock. Bulldogs have opportunity to ice this game away with an excellent second half effort by this team. Both teams really had an excellent game. Each of us are accountable to our families and to our community. For instance, we each shoulder the responsibility of safety when we are driving, respecting the rules of the road, 
Honoring stop lights and stop signs and being courteous to one another are key. We are counting on each other and we are counting on you. Let's make sure that everyone from pedestrian to driver, from the youngest child to the most senior among us, makes it home safely every time. Traffic rules keep all of us safe and that includes you. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 290,000 participants here in Missouri who take part in high school sports or activities. Any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. EXP Realty agent Stephanie Rome is a proud sponsor of the Dixon Bulldogs. Give her a call at 573-528-9935 for all your realty needs. You can also reach her at stephanierome.exprealty.com or visit her at 945 Missouri Avenue in St. Robert by the front gate. The Dixon Athletic Booster Club is a proud sponsor of Dixon Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Be sure to check them out on Facebook at Dixon Athletic Booster Club. So welcome back here for the second half of basketball. We have one more half to go tonight. And this one is another close game. One point difference, 20 to 19 in favor of... Hold on, it's in favor of the... I got a mistake. There we go. No more mistake. It's in favor of the Bears. We said the scoreboard has, so we will work with that. Either way, the official scoreboard is correct, so we'll go with that. Back the other way, we have a whistle blown on the shot. So inbounds underneath for the Hornets. Hornets looking nearly decided to take it back court. You can do that on the inbounds. And shot kicked out. Three-point shot, swung the ball, not there. Now you gotta go up quick here. We have a three seconds probably in the lane of some, I would imagine. Still one point ball game here. Richland drives in. Fearon can't get the shot. Rebound Lakeway. Lakeway up. Can't get that shot. Rebound. Several down. Ball's on the floor. We have a timeout. This will be a 30 second timeout. We'll be back after this. these commercials. 2020 Frisco League Championship Tournament is brought to you by Post Pawn Shop to St. Robert. Give Dan a call for all your pawn shop needs at 573-336-3441.
How do you protect yourself and others from coronavirus? Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 plus seconds. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects. Together, we can help slow the... It's ready to go after the timeout. We still got a few seconds here, but while we t have some time on the clock. Earlier tonight, Iberia defeated Crocker 60 to 20, and Plato pulled up the upset. The seven seed, 53, over the two seed, Licking, 47. So the winner of this game will face Plato on Thursday, I believe. Girls will play on Wednesday. So tomorrow is the girls' night. Once again, Lakeway in gray, Richland in white. It's Richland. It's like extending the defense a little bit. Lakeway, three-point shot. Off target, rebound Richland. Couple bears down there to get that rebound. And that is off the hands of the Bears. That'll go back to Richland. So once again, another turnover here. You know, both these teams, a lot of unforced turnovers. And force turnovers. And that ball gets loose again. It's on the ground. We have a jump ball. So jump ball back to Lakeway. So full timeout. We'll be back after a minute from our sponsors. Any athletic event is generally forgotten over time. But the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. EXP Realty agent Stephanie Rome is a proud sponsor of the Dixon Bulldogs. Give her a call at 573-528-9935 for all your realty needs. You can also reach her at stephanierome.exprealty.com or visit her at 945 Missouri Avenue in St. Robert by the front gate. The Dixon Athletic Booster Club is a proud sponsor of Dixon Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Be sure to check them out on Facebook at Dixon Athletic Booster Club. It's a still close ball game here. One point difference. No one has scored yet. Richland up by one. Looks like the ball coming from the corner over there. Winner will face the Plato Eagles on Thursday night. Plato advanced with the upset in the championship side of the bracket. Constellation side will feature, I believe, a play-in game with Licking and Stoutland, maybe. It is the play-in game with Licking and Stoutland, so Licking will face Stoutland. That three is good. So... Okay, hold on here. That was my bad. Now we're right. So one point lead in favor of the... Two point lead in favor of the Hornets now. It's partly because the uh, teams are switched around. So normally the scoreboard match... Now we're right. So it should have been a two-point difference. And now we're tied up again, so all that math goes back to a tie. It has been a long day, forgive me, for the uh, keeping up with the score at times. 
Luckily, it has not been a lot of scoring here, but good defensive battle by both teams. We're halfway through this quarter. That shot's off target, going the other way. Another three by Lakeway. Lakeway with another three. So we will be taking a timeout here. See if this is a 30. This is a 30. So here's a word from our sponsors. 2021 basketball season this year is brought to you by American Family Insurance Agent, Teresa Stafford of Waynesville, St. Robert, Missouri. Give her office a call at 774-5900. For your next insurance quote, whether it's home, auto, or other coverage. For all your deer processing and other processing needs, check out Tom Slaughterhouse on Highway A in Montreal, Missouri. Give them a call at 573-346-5233. They are open throughout the day for deer processing during deer season. They are a proud supporter of the Richland Bears and Lady Bears back. <laughs> so timeout is over four minutes left in the third quarter. Close ball game. Lakeway just took a, another lead, so several lead changes here. No one's ball game yet secured. I don't think any team wants an overtime game, especially the late game of the night. That is a long day for some of these kids. However, that will bring us within a two point difference. Or one point difference, anyway. Two points for the lead, one point for the tie. Lakeway shooting four threes already in this game, at least, possibly five. I wouldn't be very good at baseball. They like stats in baseball. I am planning on doing some baseball this year, though, so if you want to try to sponsor some baseball, let me know. I will do my best to get a setup going for that. That is a learning experience. I think I have an idea, but I'm sure you know how ideas go. And travel on the catch. Always work on the jump stop. Something I tell all the kids that I coach. Because they travel a lot. And Richland with the drive. Lakeway's there on the defense. Lakeway the other way. So like Layla will extend this lead to three points. Lakeway on the defense there. Lakeway's able to tip it out off the Richland Bears, the last ones to touch it. So three-point ball game could swing either way right now. Deep three, another three-pointer. So Hornets are starting to build a little bit of a lead. Six-point ball game. Underneath, and we're going to pick up a couple free throws here. So opportunity Richland needs to really make these. Otherwise, you know, they could get in a hole. And if you get deep in a hole, sometimes things do not go well. I think the last game I coached, I lost by 40, so. If you want the offensive playbook for that game, I will gladly give it to you. That first one is good, though. 
My first official game I coached, we won, but coached in a showcase type shootout deal. Very fun, though. I mean, the kids had fun. Those games not about winning all the time. It's about really having fun, letting the kids do things, seeing how the kids work together. Because teams are put together, they get about ten minutes, and they're said, "Here you go, go play." Clock, two minutes left in the third. Lakeway jump stop, has to pass it. Lakeway with the pass. Lakeway again with the bucket. So Hornets now just working this ball movement well, almost stolen. Richland has to slow things down. Richland trap. And we have a timeout, so I believe we're going to be back in 30 seconds with more basketball. 2020 Frisco League Championship Tournament is brought to you by Post Pawn Shop of St. Robert. Give Dan a call for all your pawn shop needs at 573-336-3441. How do you protect yourself and others from coronavirus? Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 plus seconds. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects. Together, we can help slow the... 5-7. So we are ready out of the timeout, and we're going to have a whistle. So the shot does count. So that'll cut this down to five, an opportunity to get this within a six-point game. Fear on with the bucket. Free throw connects, so we have a six-point ball game again, two possession. Lakeway, another shot, and the turnaround jumper is good. Both teams really fast offense here. Richland up with the shot, can't get it. Another rebound by Lakeway. Both these teams really, you know, up close playing great defense against each other. Three point shot deep, that's gonna be short. Deep rebound for the Bears. Richland can't get that. Second attempt is good, so four-point ball game, closing seconds of this third quarter. Shot off target, and Richland will run this out. So into the third quarter, we have a four-point ball game. Advantage goes to Richland. We'll be back after this break from our sponsors. Security Bank of Pulaski County at their three convenient locations in Waynesville and two in St. Robert. Security Bank is a proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. They are also supporters of the Waynesville Tigers, among other area basketball teams. Give them a call at 573-451-2265 for all your banking needs. Security Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing opportunity lender. Sometimes we can do things that exclude others. 
Still talking to your friends. It's complicated. I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. Welcome to Jumanji! Even the smallest words and actions can have a big effect on someone. You have the skills. Because of you, someone's entire day, their year, or their life can change. Remember, the future is in your hands. Visit becauseofyou.org to learn more. Totally, let's do it. Check out Allen Hilliard Sports for all the tournament updates and live video. Park City Auto Parts is a proud sponsor of the Richland Bears and Crocker Lions. Check them out in Richland for all your parts needs. And ready to go for the start of the final quarter here. We have eight minutes left in this ball game, but that will probably take about 25 minutes. A discussion on the court about something, so we're going to take a timeout for our sponsors, and we will be back. 2020 Frisco League Championship Tournament is brought to you by Post Pawn Shop to St. Robert. Give Dan a call for all your pawn shop needs at 573-336-3441. How do you protect yourself and others from coronavirus? Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 plus seconds. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects. Together, we can help slow the... So looks like Richland Ball coming out. Richland with the drive, can't quite get it. So Lakeway still with a four point lead. Really close game, anybody's ball game right now. It may come down to last possession. May come down to quadruple overtime, who knows at this point. Ball stolen by the Bears. Richland kick it out, and Rich, we have a foul that is going to be against Lakeway, I believe. So reaching for the ball a little too much. And another foul, so second foul on Lakeway. That will put them one foul from bonus shots the rest of this game, which if you have the lead, that is not what you want to have your positioning for players for the other team to make free throws. Hornets really improved over last year. Great defense they have coming out and inside a lot of traffic in there kicks it out inside found the open man we have a two-point ball game deep three for Lakeway Lakeway has it kicks it back he might want to get out of the lane he does block ball by Richland ball is Fumbled on the ground and looks like last touched by the Hornets. So Richland drives in, can't get the shot off the leg of a Hornet. Ball's loose, Hornets still have the ball, kicks out. Three point shot from the corner. Off balance, offensive rebound, and that shot will go in. So three-point game. That's a lot of stats in one little line right there. Richland Saint responds on the other side. We have a timeout by Schofield. Not sure what we have here. We're just going to have a full timeout. We'll be back after a one-minute break. Any athletic event is generally forgotten over time. 
but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. EXP Realty agent Stephanie Rome is a proud sponsor of the Dixon Bulldogs. Give her a call at 573-528-9935 for all your realty needs. You can also reach her at stephanierome.exprealty.com or visit her at 945 Missouri Avenue in St. Robert by the front gate. The Dixon Athletic Booster Club is a proud sponsor of Dixon Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Be sure to check them out on Facebook at Dixon Athletic Booster Club. So coming out of the timeout, we have 36-34 in favor of Lakeway right now. Both these teams just traded buckets back and forth, and I can't tell you who's going to come out ahead in this game. It could go either way. Both these teams can score. Both these teams can play defense. Looks like the ball comes from this side. It's a long way to go for the Hornets, but 94 feet. We'll be here tomorrow night for more basketball. Tomorrow is... Well, I don't know the schedule for tomorrow yet. I believe it's girls' night, but it is... Two more points for Lakeway, though. Richland needing a score. Bears setting up. Spread offense. Looking for the corner. Drives in. Nearly had it. Ball's on the ground. It's going to be another jump ball, so Lakeway will come away with that. Um, looks like tomorrow is the... Ball, there's the ball coming in. It's confusing. It looks like they're going to go free throws for whatever reason down there. So. so tomorrow is so second play in game. So that will be Dixon versus Stoutland tomorrow. So Dixon and Stoutland will face off in the first game of the night tomorrow. And then we will have Licking and Crocker and Richland and Newburgh. I believe that's the plan right now. And that will four-point ball game still. We have shots coming for Lakeway. 5-11 in this uh, contest. Tell you what, Saturday is going to be a long day. If anybody wants to come up here and alternate with me games, they are welcome to. Second shot is off target. Rebound. That's Fearon. And the block going down the court. A lot of players going down on here. A lot of contact, and the ball's still on the ground. We have a whistle for a travel, so ball goes back to Rachel. <laughs> that is a... That's a lot of movement right there. It's just easier to reset and to recontinue this. It's a five-point difference in favor of Lakeway right now. We're going to have free throws coming if this is on the Hornets. So one and one opportunity for the Bears. They... This is when you really need to make free throws. And the other Furon's coming into the game after 
This can't get the shot. Another foul, so two more free throws. So 442 remains in this game. Second close game of the night. And the lower seat is fighting for survival here. That bank free throw is brought to you by Security Bank of Pulaski County. They have three convenient locations, and they are a sponsor of the game of the week. So both free throws good. Three-point ball game, 39-36 in favor of the Hornets. We have two shots coming for Lakeway now on the other end. Two timeouts. So three timeouts for the Hornets. Two for Richland. Free throw, no good. Very good ball game here. Be sure to share this with your friends and people that love basketball. Great contest back and forth. You can even mute me if you want to. So we have a stoppage here. We're going to take a commercial break, and we will... Be back shortly. 2020 Frisco League Championship Tournament is brought to you by Post Pawn Shop St. Robert. Give Dan a call for all your pawn shop needs at 573-336-3441. How do you protect yourself and others from coronavirus? Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 plus seconds. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects. Together, we can help slow the... And we are okay. I guess we had a table issue that has been resolved. So forty to thirty-six in favor of Lakeway right now. And that is going to be a foul against the. Hornets, so that will bring up shots no matter what from the free throw line. So Richland the opportunity is four points away. So one and one opportunity here. They're lining up like they're not doing one and one, but... There's nine team fouls for Lakeway, so there has to be a one and one. I guess there doesn't have to be, but there should be one and one. Fearon with the shot. So three point ball game, one possession. Low scoring game compared to the other night. That one is off target though. Lakeway down, going down court, approaching the midway point in the fourth quarter. And the bucket will count, so that'll make it five points with an opportunity to make it a six-point game. That is Jason Young, I believe, on that bucket. He's a 6'1 senior. He has developed to be a very good player over time. Free throw not on target. Some high passes shot by Richland. Can't get the bank shot. Rebound Lakeway. Still plenty of basketball here. Both teams close to each other. That is 
Volleyball swatted, and it went straight up in the air. We have a foul called against the Hornets. So another opportunity for Richland to cut into this, but now it's a five-point difference, so these free throws really need to go in. You need at least the first free throw, other, and then he can miss it and possibly get an extra attempt afterwards from the basket, but you need at least the first free throw to make that happen. Actually, he gets two free throws, so... It is 10 fouls. Both have bonus. Lakeway will be 1-1. One one. Richland gets two shots no matter what. So four-point ball game still in favor of Lakeway. said join us tomorrow night we have girls matchups coming it is Dixon and Stoutland to start the night we have a, another foul on the floor Lakeway goes back to the line and Licking and Crocker in the 630 game Richland and Newburgh in the 8 p.m. game so be sure to put me on your schedule tomorrow night for more basketball Shot was good. Free throw, no good. Offensive rebound, though. Three-point shot, open, not there. Another foul against the Hornets. So, six-point ball game still. Both these teams really just struggling, you know, right now. I'm sure... I've got an hour and 34 minutes, so take away about 10 minutes for half, you know, 20 minutes for halftime. And so they've been out here for over an hour playing basketball. I'm sure some of these starters are really tired. I'm sure they are wanting to finish this game. We got Coach Voss over here ready to just fall asleep while he's standing up. So back to a fourth uh, or four point difference, a fourth point difference. Back to a four point difference here. Lakeway approaching the three minute mark of the game, so time time will run down eventually. It just may take 30 minutes for it to run down, so two more points for the Hornets, six point game. That ball's is loose. Lakeway lets it go. Ball turned over. 2.44 to go. Lakeway ball once again. Ball sells out of bounds. Back to Richland. You give me a drink here. It's been a long day. And foul. That'll be against the Hornets. So two more free throws here. Opportunity Richland to get back within four points. They keep this whole quarter they've been bouncing back to that three, four point difference mark, but they, Lakeway just gets one more basket. Kind of like an old ghost story that I heard about a uh, hotel in Atlanta where the ghosts always have like one more room for, or room for one more person. So that shot is good. It is a five point difference though. And 
And timeout by Lakeway. I don't know if we have a full or a 30 here, so we're going to take a full. We'll be back in a minute after this break. Any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. EXP Realty agent Stephanie Rome is a proud sponsor of the Dixon Bulldogs. Give her a call at 573-528-9935 for all your realty needs. You can also reach her at stephanierome.exprealty.com or visit her at 945 Missouri Avenue in St. Robert by the front gate. The Dixon Athletic Booster Club is a proud sponsor of Dixon Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Be sure to check them out on Facebook at Dixon Athletic Booster Club. So tied up in a battle of the well, battle of the local teams here, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that, but five-point ball game, Lakeway with the ball. Lakeway has a lead and 215 remain on the clock. So Lakeway, Lakeway is just looking right now for something. And that is a turnover, so Richland down by five has an opportunity. Fearon can't get the shot. Second attempt is good. That will bring up an option for a free throw. So three-point ball game. Chance to make this two. Closest Richland has gotten within this second half right now, or at least the fourth quarter. 145 on the clock. Free throw off target. Lakeway once again with that rebound. Minute and a half remain. Lakeway with the drive. Kick out three. Off target. We have a foul. That is going to be against the Hornets. So two more free throws for the Bears. And that's the fifth foul for... I believe 22 of the Hornets. Oh, nope. Fifth foul for... I don't know. Can't see what his number is. It's hard to read their numbers, but... Fearon at the line. Chance to cut this down. So just a two-point ball game now. One more free throw. Give them a... Well, within a point... So we are back where we started. One point difference between the two teams. Lakeway. They're going to have to score at some point here. And we have a, another foul. We're going to have... Well, we have bonus... Oh, we have a timeout, so... Another full, we will be back after one minute. Security Bank of Pulaski County at their three convenient locations in Waynesville and two in St. Robert. Security Bank is a proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. They are also supporters of the Waynesville Tigers, among other area basketball teams. Give them a call at 573-451-2265 for all your banking needs. Security Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing opportunity lender. Sometimes we can do things that exclude others. 
You're still talking to your friend. It's complicated. I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. Welcome to Jumanji! Even the smallest words and actions can have a big effect on someone. You have the skills. Because of you, someone's entire day, their year, or their life can change. Remember, the future is in your hands. Visit becauseofyou.org to learn more. Totally, let's do it. Check out Alan Hilliard Sports for all the tournament updates and live video. Park City Auto Parts is a proud sponsor of the Richland Bears and Crocker Lions. Check them out in Richland for all your parts needs. So here, just a recap of our earlier games. Iberia 60-20 over Crocker in the first round. They'll play Dixon the next round. <clears throat> and then Plato 53-47 over Licking. They will play the winner of this game. And clock under a minute now. So Richland drives down, takes a shot, shots up, and Richland now has a one-point lead. So this barn burner is not done yet. Lakeway looking to drive. Lakeway underneath, looks for the foul, doesn't get it. And that foul will be on the floor, so two free throws coming. Wait, we have a top. So do we have a timeout before the... Okay, we have a timeout. We'll be back after a minute. Any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. EXP Realty agent Stephanie Rome is a proud sponsor of the Dixon Bulldogs. Give her a call at 573-528-9935 for all your realty needs. You can also reach her at stephanierome.exprealty.com or visit her at 945 Missouri Avenue in St. Robert by the front gate. The Dixon Athletic Booster Club is a proud sponsor of Dixon Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Be sure to check them out on Facebook at Dixon Athletic Booster Club. So 27 seconds remain in this ball game. We have two free throws coming for... Well, wait a minute here. Oh, it, that was a timeout. Never mind. And foul by the Hornets, so free throws coming for Fearon will take the free throws. Richland has missed 14 free throws, I believe, in this ballgame. They don't miss that one, so that is a two-point advantage. Richland has trailed most of the second half here, or nearly half of it. And three-point ball game. Richland guarding the three-point shot. Lakeway can drive underneath. That is blocked. That will remain Lakeway ball, but big block by Fearon on that shot. And another timeout by or Lakeway will be back after this minute timeout. Security Bank of Pulaski County at their three convenient locations in Waynesville and two in St. Robert. Security Bank is a proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. They're also supporters of the Waynesville Tigers, among other area basketball teams. Give them a call at 573-451-2265 for all your banking needs. Security Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing opportunity lender. Sometimes we can do things that exclude others. 
Still talking to your friends. It's complicated. I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. Welcome to Jumanji! Even the smallest words and actions can have a big effect on someone. You have the skills. Because of you, someone's entire day, their year, or their life can change. Remember, the future is in your hands. Visit becauseofyou.org to learn more. Totally, let's do it. Check out Allen Hilliard Sports for all the tournament updates and live video. Park City Auto Parts is a proud sponsor of the Richland Bears and Crocker Lions. Check them out in Richland for all your parts needs. So coming back out from the timeout here. Lakeway drives in. And Lakeway can't stop the clock here. So three seconds on the clock. Uh, it's going to be hard to get a three-point shot off here as most of the Richland defense is back there by the three-point line. So either way, they're going to have to get the ball and hit a three, so three seconds remain. Another timeout called, and we'll be back after... I might as well, I think this is a full. We'll be back after a... One minute timeout. Any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. EXP Realty agent Stephanie Rome is a proud sponsor of the Dixon Bulldogs. Give her a call at 573-528-9935 for all your realty needs. You can also reach her at stephanierome.exprealty.com or visit her at 945 Missouri Avenue in St. Robert by the front gate. The Dixon Athletic Booster Club is a proud sponsor of Dixon Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. Be sure to check them out on Facebook at Dixon Athletic Booster Club. So we are free throw coming up. Right now, two point lead for Richland. Three point ball game here, and long way to go for a three. I don't know why they're under the basket. However, my hand is on this clock button here. Long shot off target, and that will do it. So from Rich or from Lakeway here, we have a final 50-48 in a great ball game. The Richland Bears will pick up the victory. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. And just to recap of earlier, Iberia will face Dixon. They won 60-20 over Crocker. And Richland will face Plato in uh, later this week. Have a great night. At a time when kids may be confused by an invisible villain, there's an elite group helping them understand and be safe. They're fighting what's out there by staying in here. They are the Stay Heroes. Meet the Great Hygiene, expert at washing hands and disinfecting surfaces and objects. Dr. Distancio is a master of physical distancing and virtual playdates. And General Fields uncovers emotions and harnesses positivity. Your kids can become Stay Heroes too. Learn how at stayheroes.org.